week 66 of the beer blog. Here we have a, a sleeping with it and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping with it. So, Zoe. <laughs> She's really tired. So, uh, this week we have a beer from our friends at Atwater Block, which is uh, over in the Detroit area. I forget exactly where, but this one uh, was kind of interesting. So, this one is called Bourbon Barrel Age Shaman's Porter. And here we have a picture of a a nice little shaman looking looking thing. Kind of looks like a Greek god or something. Yeah. Does kind of look like a Greek god. He doesn't. I guess you can kind of see it on there. The pixelation is good. Dogs, I yeah. was about to say, there's a dog there though. Yeah, he's got a. It's dragon. a Greek god. He's got a dragon behind him and he's got wings on his helmet like a Roman Greek god. He's got a pike. Is that a crow on it? <clears throat> yeah, it yeah, there's a crow and uh, a dog. Enjoy responsibly. So. It's not really how I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Beer is good. Enjoy responsibly. So. Uh, these guys have done a lot of good stuff. They're pretty. We've had them on here quite a few times, and uh, this one's kind of interesting because th- anytime you get this bourbon barrel aged, it means they just throw it in like some bourbon barrels and they let it sit there for a certain amount of time. I didn't. I didn't look up if there's any uh, lagging. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I didn't look up if they like how long they left it in the bourbon barrels, but usually you get a little hint of like a, a bourbon flavor from uh, from from these bourbon beers. Being that it's porter, you know, we're going to get some of those dark, roasty coffee flavors is kind of what we can expect. And then I'm kind of expecting the end to be sort of like a, eh, kind of like a vanilla-y, bourbon-esque flavor kind of at the, the end. Lagging hard, too. Look at yeah, that. it is. Damn. Wow. Work better. Huh. Oh, well. Let's roll with it. So, let's just, we're just going to dive into this one. I got... We got uh, <clears throat> the Fuzzy What Brewing again. For anybody that didn't get to taste it, we got it got it uh, coming up uh, in about four or five weeks. It'll be be ready, so more people can can give it a go. I know everybody kind of kind of enjoyed it. At least everybody that had it. I think that was one of our bigger hits. Uh, the T Pain is also in bottles. It's really really good. I tried it uncarbonated and it was great. Glass. So I think yeah, I think <laughs> I think once it's carbonated, uh, that tea pain might be one of the better beers in the world. Um, yes. Yes. So here we have our our pint glasses, which are used for porters. Uh, it keeps the the flavors rolling up to the top here. Or a coke glass. <laughs> or a coke glass. <laughs> kind of the same same <laughs> style of glass. <laughs> yeah, it, it works. You carbonate. Well, I poured it probably a little better. Uh, you poured it harder than I did. It kind of it. It smells a little bit like a porter. I mean, you get a, a little bit of that co- coffee, roasty smell-ish. Mm-hmm. It's real light. I even get a little bit of a, a vanilla hint in there, probably from like a... I get the vanilla, yeah. The, I, f- I feel like that's the bourbon smell. It's kind of vanilla-y. It's kind of my, my interpretation of it. You get that little hint of like a... Maybe a bourbon or vanilla or something. Definitely has a porter smell. Yeah, definitely definitely a porter smell. A little malty smell, too. So, it's obviously, obviously very dark. I mean, it's pretty much... Pretty much straight black, straight black porter. Sure. So definitely, definitely real dark. So let's give this baby a go. Oh, it's roasties. Real roasty, yeah. The finish is real roasty too. Yeah. This is kind of similar to the one. The one last week was kind of chocolatey and roasty. This one's definitely a little bit more roasty. The back end, it. it I feel like it's kind of a light roasty. I mean, it's almost a little bit chocolatey, like at the way back end. It's almost a little bit chocolatey, but it's still kind of just kind of a dark, uh, dark roasty flavor. I think you get the the roast all the way through. Yeah, so I just had the beginning. Or right, the right. Yeah, yeah. Stare the whole time. I don't get a whole lot of um, maybe just a light hint of the bourbon flavor, kind of all throughout. It's kind of a. I think I feel like it's again kind of just that a little hint of vanilla-ish flavor kind of mixed in with the dark roasties if you kind of look for it. Definitely roasty, yeah. Definitely roasty. Not it's not chocolatey either. I was kind of expecting it to maybe to be a little bit chocolatey too. The IBUs are thirty-two. <laughs> thirty-two IBUs, pretty low. Uh, Six point eight percent. I I read it was six percent. I think. Oh, this is right on that bottom though. 6.8, yeah. Oh, so it's 6.8. Okay, they put it in there wrong then. 6.8%. So this is actually a little bit bigger beer. I mean, you drink, uh, you know, three or four of these, and you'll probably want to want to chill for a little while. <laughs> I want to go to bed right now. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> four like... sips of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're tired. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. It, it's real good. You get that light vanilla, real roasty. Uh, definitely a good, good, a really good porter, I would say. One of the probably, I feel like this is one of the better porters um, that I've had, at least at least in recent memory. Mm, it's better than the one we brewed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are getting hard to brew. Mm. Yeah, the porters are real tough to brew. I think I might have a handle on it now, but we'll see about that one next. <laughs> next beer. Got a different strategy. Yep, got a different strategy. So, uh, let's give this thing a rating. As usual, I will allow you to go first. Either of you, I don't care who. I'm going to go three. Three? Yeah, I don't really appreciate <clears throat> roasty flavors. I don't, okay. mind, I don't mind the roasty flavors. <clears throat> but it's not something I, it's something I would drink a lot. Damn, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to point at the whip it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all backwards. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, it's yeah, it's what... not, I don't mind the roast, roasting roasty flavors, but uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but you like dark beers normally, don't you? I mean, kind of equal. Normally, yeah, equal. But yeah. I might go with like a three, like two or three, three. So pretty average for you. It just doesn't. Yeah. It's, it's kind. Of, it's average, man. Yeah. I it's. It, I feel it's pretty smooth, but it's it's not really complex. And usually I like uh, dark beers to be a little bit more complex. I mean, it's definitely just kind of one bold roasty flavor with just that back hint maybe from the bourbon barrels of uh, you know that little bourbonish uh, vanilla flavor in there too. Um, I think it's really good for being being pretty basic. I mean, I, I'd probably give this. Uh, I don't think it's quite a four. I think a four is a little bit better. I, I tend to like these dark roasty beers a lot, though, so I'd probably give this like three eight, three nine. I mean, it's it, for being for being pretty simple. It's it's good. It doesn't taste like six point eight percent. I mean, it tastes like a really just a normal five percent yeah. beer. So I give it give it a little props for that. Uh, the flavors are good. It's just just not overly complex and it's pretty basic. So definitely good beer. Certainly worth trying. Good job, Atwater. We'll see if we can do any better in a month and a half. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Peace, peace out, Whip It World. <laughs>